This is my review of NWA Narky's September 22nd live TV taping. I arrived at the show late at 8.30 during the match, the first match of the night, which was Joey Reimer and um, Bo Newsom. One of the um, workers at NWA Narky was surprisingly nice enough to offer me the front row seat. I originally sat on the bench, so I was on the front. I was in I was on the front row and got to see the action um up close and um and it was awesome. The first match of the night was um Bo Newsom surprisingly wrestling Joey Reimer, even though he was advertised to be facing Billy Buck for the television um championship. Um Bo Newsom in one of his best matches defeats Joey Reimer with a um spine buster. The next match of the night was supposed to be um was supposed to be Young Lions champion Adrian Hawkins versus Anthony Henry. When Anthony Henry came out, Jacob Ashworth, who is now a heel, attacked him from behind. So, um, so the Reverend Dan Wilson came out and announced that um he would be facing he would be facing that um Adrian Hawkins would be facing um would be facing Strick Knight, one half of the hate junkies. Um this was a pretty good match. Um I think um um yeah Tommy Daniels or Tommy Pinatelli Tommy Pinatelli, I think that's his name. And Rico Suave Rico Suave interfered in the match interfered in the match and the match and then the Van new wrestlers, the Vando and the Narcissism came to the aid of Strick Knight, so now this became a six-man tag match. The Narcissism, Vando, Van, the Vando, and um, Anthony Henry, and Strick Knight defeat Tommy Penetrelli, Rico Suave, Adrian Hawkins, and Jacob Ash Jacob Ashworth in an eight-man tag match. This was an awesome match. Um, the next match of the night was... Um, the next um match of the night was a match between um oh Bobby Moore, Bobby Moore and a newcomer. Well, he's a newcomer for me because this is the first time I've seen him. Cameron Cade. I think this guy is from Luke Hawks um NWA Wildcat School and Promotion. Um, this was um this was an awesome match. Cameron Cade picks up an upset victory over Moore with distraction from um Moore's current rival um. Rival um, Seth Delay, who um, chased what's his name, who um, who got more angry enough to chase him outside the ring and get himself counted out. So Cameron Cade is your um, winner. Um, the next match of the night was of um, was a um, the next match of the night was a um, was a match between the next match of the night was a match between. Shadow Jackson and Slim J. This is one of the matches I want to see. If Shadow Jackson, wh whoever won, whoever won the match gets to pick the stipulation for their tag team match at Fright Night. If um Slim J won, he get if Slim J won, he gets to pick the stipulation for the tag team match at Fright Night, which is the next event. If Shadow Jackson won, he gets to pick the stipulation for his um team. This was an awesome match. This was an awesome um match. Um, Slim J pulled out the win out of nowhere with a swinging DDT with a flying reverse DDT off the top rope. I actually thought Shadow Jackson was going to win this match. This is an awesome match. Shadow Jackson is an awesome heel. I still think it's a mistake from a business standpoint to turn Shadow Jackson heel, but he's awesome. Him and well, Nemesis. I think he's a. I think he's a good heel, but. Man, Shadow Jackson is an um, awesome um, heel. Um, next match was Seth Delay versus Seth Delay versus um, Seth Delay versus Brandon Parker. Another match I love. Brandon Parker. Seth Delay is always awesome. This was an awesome match. Um, this was an awesome match. Seth Delay wins the match with the brass knuckles. With the um, brass knuckles, and Bobby Moore attacks Seth Delay. After the match, um, um, the next match of the night was um 
The next match of the night was, um, oh yeah, was surprisingly Billy Buck and Bo Newsom wrestling for the second time in a row in the TV television match, the match that I paid for, the match that was advertised. This was an awesome match. This was an awesome match. The crowd, well, except me, well, I kind of was too. The crowd was kind of dead for this one, but it was still an awesome match. I was mostly focused on the action. I cheered, a, I cheered some, but I was mostly focused on the action. Um, Seth Delay, um, I mean, I mean not Seth Delay, but Billy Buck. Um, um, the the match, um, the match went to a time limit. Um, draw. I guess they did this to postpone for Fright Night. And I guess, and I hope Billy Buck wins the title at um, Fright Night. Um, the main event, the main event was awesome. The main event was Brody Ray Chase and the Priest of Punishment, Michael Judas, versus Sean Tempers and Seven. This was an awesome main event. The crowd and myself were pumped for this. This match was awesome. This seeing this up close live was off was awesome and epic. Hearing the fans seeing it up close, um, um, Brody Ray Chase wins the match. Brody Ray Chase um wins the match um for his um team. I can't remember if it was a I think it was a disqualification because I think um I I forgot who got involved. I, yeah, I think Shadow Jackson. Yeah, Shadow Jackson and several other members of the NWA Elite got involved in the match, so I think the match ended in disqualification. I can't remember if it was disqualification or did they win by pinfall, but um, this was an awesome match. This was an awesome show. I can't wait to, I'll try to make it to either Fright Night, one of the TV tapings, or Seasons Beating. Seasons Beating's for sure, because that's probably the next time I'll have a lot of money, but I love coming out here to NWA Anarchy. It's one of my favorite professional wrestling promotions, and I think it's awesome, so um, yeah, NWA Anarchy was good. I also I also bought uh NWA Anarchy DVD, NWA Anarchy Seasons Beatings 06, which I've been wanting to see for a long time, and I'll be reviewing on here. Okay, um, dug out.